<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to 1111 Butterfly Effect. Thank you all for joining my divine spirit, the oracles, and I here at the table for this weekly wisdom check-in message. Yes, for you twin flames, soulmates, you divine souls out there navigating a twin flame journey, traveling a divine path, following your yellow brick road, this message is for you. For you and your journey, for you and the person you're thinking of, for you and your divine connection. Yeah, this is the weekly wisdom check-in. We're at the beginning of the week. It's time to check in to see what the plan of action is for you out there listening. We're going to get right to the message. We're going to start off with an overall energy and focus. And we're going to ask the Native Heart Healing Oracle to join us at the table for this overall focus. Um, overall focus and energy for this weekly wisdom check-in message for you out there listening. So set your intentions, put your questions out there uh, so that you may receive your answers, signs, and synchronicities for you and your journey, for you and your divine partner, for you and your divine connection. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, Native Heart Healing Oracle. Please join us at the table and offer us up the guidance and wisdom. We're asking for an overall focus. One card pull. Overall focus for guidance and wisdom for you out there listening. Thank you, my Divine Spirit. Thank you, Native Heart Healing Oracle. Please join us at the table and offer us up an overall focus. Guidance and wisdom for those out there listening. There we go. We are ready to cut the deck. One more shuffle, they said. All right, here we go. We're going to cut and get one card. And this will be the overall focus. Overall focus and uh, guidance, wisdom for you out there listening for this weekly wisdom check-in message. <laughs> yes. Relic of time is the overall focus and wisdom for this weekly wisdom message. Relic of time, and the number there is a 19, which breaks down to a 10, ending, uh, ending of a cycle, ending of a relationship, ending of a burden, and then that, of course, 10 breaks down to a 1, which is new beginning. So, relic of time, this kind of resembles, you know, uh, a clock. If you look, there's numbers here. Focus. So there's numbers on this medallion here. Mandela, possibly. And look, we have the sacred geometry in the middle, the sacred flower, flower of life, flower of everything, right? Sacred geometry in the very center. Yes. Relic of time. For you out there listening, this is the overall focus and wisdom for this weekly wisdom check-in message. So let's just get a little bite, a little taste in our mouth and see what that brings forward. For this Relic of Time card. <clears throat> Representing patience. History repeating itself, potentially. 
Yeah, overcommitment. The Relic of Time Mandela holds a portal to healing guidance. And oh, what a perfect time for that to take place, healing guidance, during this full moon lunar eclipse. And for many of us, that is taking place um, May 26th, tomorrow, for us here in the States, uh, potentially in the early a.m. hours, so actually pretty soon, the eclipse is going to take place, according to my clock. Once you enter this portal, time does not exist. See how it's kind of all distorted here on the wheel? I don't know if you picked up on that. But the time, come on, focus. The numbers are distorted on this clock. So it's like it doesn't exist. And you may access alternative dimensions where your soul is experiencing and playing out many, many lifetimes. Over and over again. Now, yes, sometimes we come back in the, we reincarnate and come back to learn lessons, some new lessons and some old lessons. We certainly don't want to come back life after life after life doing pretty much the same thing in a different body. And are we learning our lesson? Or is, you know, that part of our, life purpose good question yeah a situation you are currently experiencing stems directly from another lifetime this soul fragment has presented itself to you to be healed and to be loved it is in your best interest to heal this aspect of yourself so see this as a beautiful opportunity to embrace a part of you that you were never able to before. Once embraced, your soul will receive the fragment into itself so that it may become whole again. This mandala allows you to energetically travel to other lifetimes. This ability may be accessed when you hold the pure intention to understand lessons and integrate realizations found at a much deeper level. Let me say that again. This mandala allows you to energetically travel to other lifetimes. So picture this in your head. Take a still shot of it, okay? Because you don't need to have this card with you to do this. This mandala allows you to energetically travel to other lifetimes. This ability may be accessed when you hold the pure intention to understand lessons Past life lessons, this life's lessons. Okay? <clears throat> and integrate the realizations that you find at a much deeper level. It is deep, okay? But that makes sense. This, you know, again, it's a perfect time for us to release and let go of any past life issues, blocks, or karma. Any ancestral, generational issues, blocks, and karma. Yeah. This relic of time Mandela holds a portal to heal, to healing guidance. Once you enter this portal, time does not exist and you may access alternative dimensions where your soul is experiencing and playing out many, many lifetimes where you can learn what you need to learn this time around so you don't have to come back and repeat your lessons. Repeating history. History repeats itself if we don't learn our lessons. So, my last post, my fireside chat, that really had deep meaning to it uh, for me personally because it was a release and let go for me in a very public way, in fact. Not just in my own little private 
you know, kingdom here, but in a very public way. So letting it go in the most, you know, double, triple ways in my thought, in my home, and outward to, you know, the outer world. I'm releasing and letting go so that I don't, you know, get stuck anywhere so I can continue to move forward down my journey and help others heal so that they in turn will help others heal. That's the ripple effect. Yeah. A couple more things to point out and we will just move into the message. The key elements here to think about for the card holder, for those of you that this resonates with. Okay. Golden yellow ray. Golden yellow ray. Keeper of joy, optimism, and willpower. Those of you who resonating with this card are the keepers of the golden yellow ray. And that is the keepers of joy, optimism, and willpower. So stay strong, fellow travelers. This also deals with the solar plexus chakra, if you note the colors, okay? It deals with the earth and air elements. It also is about soul fragments and puzzle pieces, okay? Intertwining and interlocking and being a part of the bigger picture. When those holes, the puzzle pieces are put together and you see the whole picture, you become a whole. Those wounds are healed. Doesn't mean they just suddenly go away. No, it means they're healed. That you can overcome them, get past them, leave them behind you. Yeah. Let things heal. This life and past life, generations, ancestral karma. Your past life karma. Unresolved issues and lessons that need to be learned. Yeah. Wow, I'm getting hot. <laughs> it's divine. It's here in the room. <laughs> so, the overall focus for this weekly weekly wisdom check-in message. The overall focus and wisdom for this for you out there listening is don't repeat history. Learn your lessons well so that you don't have to repeat them or learn them again and again. Learn your lessons well so you won't have to repeat them, right? We don't want history to repeat itself this time around. I've done that merry-go-round merry enough. I don't know about you. <laughs> so... Be patient, stay strong, don't give up. I mean, there were so many things I said in that last fireside chat and so many things I didn't say. So I hope you stay tuned for the next fireside chats to come because I will be getting, you know, up close and personal about my journey, about where, how I've, where I've come from and how I've gotten here to this point. And where I believe I'm headed and, and what I'm embracing. So, relic of, the, relic of time, 19. That breaks down to a 10, which is completion, and a 1, which is new beginning. Yes, let's not repeat history. Let's change history. Yeah. So, to the message. Let's set these clarifying decks aside and get into this. Yes, weekly wisdom message for you out there listening. Get an idea, a glance at where, we, where we've been, what we're doing, and where we're going for this week ahead. For you out there listening, for you twin flames and soulmates, you divine souls, 
following your yellow brick road, this message is for you. And like I said, we have this full moon, super blood full moon coinciding with a total lunar eclipse. Haven't had one of those since 2019. So it's time to, you know, get your crystals and your stones charged. Time to double up on your grounding and release and let go through this super blood moon and this lunar eclipse that's, you know, all happening in the sign of Sagittarius, the lunar eclipse. The moon is in Sagittarius as of this moment. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Purge, purge, purge. Purge is the word, huh? <laughs> yeah. There's a song, right? Of course there's a song. <laughs> yeah, I won't sing it. Anyway, thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, sacred traveler oracle. Yes, we're receiving the main message from Denise Lynn's sacred traveler oracle. All deck information will be in the description box below the title of this video along with any music credits so check out the description box if there's something you missed i encourage and invite you to do so there's always some good information in the description box thank you my divine spirit thank you sacred traveler oracle please join us at the table and offers up the weekly wisdom Guidance and direction for those out there listening. Navigating their twin flame journey. Yes, here we go. One more shuffle. Thank you. That was a loud shuffle. That's all right. Cut the deck. And see where we get. See what we get, huh? View from a view from above. Get the big picture. Yeah. Soaring high. Looking at things with a higher perspective. Through your higher self. Yeah. Looking at the big picture. Looking at, you know, seeing things with a broader view. In the past up to the present, view from above. You've been getting the big picture. You and your divine partner, or both of you, have been gaining a higher perspective on things. Yes, discovering the truth, <laughs> in fact. Yeah, you stand in the light of the truth. I don't think, in fact... Uh, I personally have drawn this card for any of my readings, messages, or me personally, in fact. Interesting. View from above allows us to discover the truth, uncover the treasure, uh-huh. And, you know, important things lead us to... What? Yeah. Going deep and explore your roots. Important things make us look, take a better look, a closer look, a deeper look. And that includes grounding, like I said. You know, want to be grounding yourself during this full moon while you're doing all that releasing and letting go because you don't want to float away with all that stuff you're releasing and letting go. You want to keep what's good, right? Ground yourself. Discover and explore your roots. Yeah. And on the bottom of the deck, get ready, because a great adventure awaits you. Take a risk. Venture forward. Yes. Look at that. Full sail. Ready to go. Full steam ahead, right? Let me get my wand. Look at that. Sail is in full flow, right? Full steam ahead. 
Dun da da, right? Is it like this? <laughs> Well, wrong. <laughs> it's not a horse, it's a boat on water. Close enough, huh? Take a risk, venture forward. Interesting, interesting. We're not going further in the deck. We don't need to because we're going looking at the past up to the present. Current action or challenge. Potential outcome from this action or challenge and the potential future. Great adventure. Yeah. View from above. Get the picture. Do you get the picture? When you see things from a higher perspective, it is a better view. It's a bigger picture when you do that. And it allows you to see things maybe you haven't seen before. However, sometimes it does make you miss the little things. So you do have to come back down to earth and ground yourself. So you can, you know, continue forward and, you know, move into this great adventure. Yeah. After you go deep and explore your roots... View from above. Don't get bogged down in details. Let go of petty concerns. Get the big picture. Imagine that you're seeing your whole life from above. Only do what is truly important. Everything else is inconsequential. Go through each area of your life to look and see what the big picture is. Make major life decisions based on this strategy. And I was mentioning in my fireside chat that uh, I feel some big things are coming. I'm going to, you know, be presented with some decisions to make. And I think that's kind of on a collective level as well, which according to this is, is what we're talking about in the past up to the present moment. You know, major life decisions we've been looking at, at what, which way do we want to go? <laughs> do we want to go left, right, up, down? Over there, over here, north, south, east, or west, right? Getting this view from above, it, it allows us to figure out which way we want to go. Following our well-lit path or not, right? Discovering the truth. You stand in the light of the truth. That's what we have here. And indeed, when you view things from a different perspective, from a higher perspective, it will help you uncover your treasures, discover your truths, discover truths about other people, in fact. Because this lad is heading this way, and these people are heading that way. Yeah. And, you know, this person is moving forward with confidence and a smile on their face. So they are, you know, discovering the truth and standing in their light. You and your person and or your person. You know, we want to focus on your divine partner. They've gained a, a higher perspective of different view on things, a higher level of, of seeing the bigger picture, able to move forward and discover their truths, uncover their treasures, leave these naysayers behind and follow their yellow brick road, follow your yellow brick road, getting rest, and relaxing when you need it, reconnecting with your divine connection, your own higher self, your ancestors, your loved ones, your past lives. Yeah, going deep. Because once you let go, see things from a higher perspective, let go of that which is holding you down, 
you are able to, again, like I said, move forward. They are able to move forward, discover the truth, uncover the treasure. And then with those new gifts, blessings, lessons, yeah, you got to take it all in. You got to soak it up, retain what you need to, and let go of the rest, which is what was being said here. Relic of time. Hang on to what you need to, let go of the rest. Go back to the beginning of this, if you can't recall, and see what we said about this relic of time. These moves will lead to this great adventure. Yeah, this great adventure, you know, just is where, you know, more abundance is for you, where potentially your divine partner is. You know, if this is your divine partner coming in, then okay, boom, they're taking the risk. If it's you moving forward, then boom, you're taking the risk with or without them, right? You have to, or you'll stay stuck where you are, no matter what the circumstances is. That's where you will stay stuck. Great adventure. At the end of your life, you are more likely to <laughs> regret the things you didn't do than the things you did do. Is that not the truth? When I meet my maker, I want to have a short list, okay? I have enough. I don't want to add too much more to my list. So I am taking the risks that are for my highest good, in other words. Yeah. <clears throat> Take risks. Not every risk enables success. But if you don't try, you'll never know. <laughs> yeah, you won't ever know what remarkable exper experiences were right there waiting for you to enjoy. Yeah. Touch, smell, and taste. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. By stepping out of your comfort zone, you'll discover new talents and abilities. Playing safe in the long run is no safer than venturing forth with glee. That is true. You know, which is more risky? Staying safe and not living your life? Or taking a risk and potentially having the greatest adventure of your life? with the greatest person you've ever met, right? Is that saying too much? No, by stepping out of your comfort zone, you'll discover new talents and abilities. Playing safe in the long run is no safer than venturing forth with glee. To quote Helen Keller, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. I'll take the daring adventure over nothing any day. How about you? Yeah, take a risk. Venture forward. That's the possible future position card. When you and or your divine partner in the past up to the present moment are gaining a higher perspective, a higher level of thinking, a, you know, gaining a better way of looking at things, higher viewpoint, higher perspective, broader view. When you and your partner move out of that after you've done that forward, you will discover your treasures. They will discover their treasures. Uncover the truth of this connection. Uncover their truth. And let me tell you, it is exhausting. <laughs> you will... We will, you will need to get the rest and relaxation you need. You will need to get the grounding that you need to move forward towards this great adventure. Wow. Let's get some clarity and confirmation before we get too much further into this message, which is already about to hit 30 minutes. So, thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, InSync 
Twin Flame Connection Oracle. Please join us at the table and offer us up the clarity and confirmation for this weekly wisdom message. Yes, the clarity and confirmation. I'm going to be using my two decks. Um, I should have already received my copy of this in sync twin flame connection deck, but I have not. I'm working on that, I'm trying to find out why. The other deck is my twin flame journey yellow brick road oracle deck. So we'll be receiving clarity and confirmation from both of my decks today with some final words of wisdom from the butterflies. So here we go clarity and confirmation. Please join us at the table. In sync twin flame connection oracles. Thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, twin flame connection oracles. Join us at the table and offers up the clarity and confirmation for this weekly wisdom check in about getting the big picture and discovering truth about this great adventure ahead. Yeah. Kind of looks like the same person. This person here, strutting along, strutting along. It kind of looks like the same person in a way. Potentially, yes. Potentially. So, thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, Instinct Twin Flame Connection Oracle. Please join us at the table for. So clarity and confirmation for this weekly wisdom check-in message for you out there listening. Here we go. All right. Haha, <laughs> divine feminine. Yes, Divine Feminine, and we have a number two. That's partnership. It's a divine, it's a feminine number. Two also represents patience right here, confirming this overall focus. Yeah, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, both gaining this higher perspective, this look, this better view from above, gaining the bigger picture, balancing things, right? Two is balance. One and three are uneven, right? Although three is what they use usually use in juggling. Go figure. Yeah, divine feminine. We have some confirmation here of partnership and patience for certain. Oh, goodness sakes, the next card up is Patience. Okay. And we have a 38, and that breaks down to an 11, which is a master number, master messenger. So be patient, Divine Feminine. A message is coming in. This is in the current action and challenge. So as an action or challenge, be patient is the challenge because a message is the action that's coming in. Holy moly, Batman. Right? Yeah. For this third position as the over, you know, the possible outcome. And we have the victim card coming out. This is the victim no more. Because the number there is 30. And that breaks down to a 3, which is about communication. Self-expression. Joy. So stay patient, Divine Feminine, okay? <clears throat> there is a message coming in about victim no more. It's communication. We have double confirmation that communication is coming in, Divine Feminine. So ground yourself and get some rest, okay? Because <laughs> y'all may need it. <laughs> For this great adventure that's about to take place. Yeah. Let's see what card pops out here. All right. Bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. We have another 11. 
29 breaks down to 11. Self-worth, super important. And this future position, okay, that you divine feminines and divine masculines, this is important for this journey and for you to move forward. You need to know your self-worth. And victim no more and self-worth and confidence is the result, the, the possible outcome and possible future of the staying patient, Divine Feminine, because a message is coming in. We have double confirmation of a message coming in, and we have communication, which is basically a triple confirmation of an incoming message, okay? So, stay patient, Divine Feminines. Message is coming in about being no more, being a victim, leaving that behind, communicating a victim no more, and self-worth, confidence. Wow, okay. Let's see what more clarity and confirmation we can receive to close out this message here. Thank you. <clears throat> Twin Flame Journey, Yellow Brick Road, Oracle. Please join us at the table and clarify and confirm this confirmation <clears throat> for this, excuse me, weekly wisdom message. Yeah, I just dropped half of the deck. That was crazy. Yes, thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, Twin Flame Journey, Yellow Brick Road, Oracle. Please join us at the table and offers up some additional clarity and confirmation to confirm this clarity and this weekly wisdom message. Yes, to confirm this clarity. How's that, right? Thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, Twin Flame Journey, Yellow Brick Road, Oracle. Please join us at the table and offers up the clarity and confirmation for this weekly wisdom message for you out there listening you twin flames and soulmates you divine souls this message is for you are you listening i'm listening okay here we go thank you my divine spirit thank you twin flame journey oracle Please us at these. and uh, offers up the clarity and confirmation for this Weekly wisdom message. Here we go. Ooh, we just had this the other day in one of our readings coming out in the top card. Star child, divine feminine. You star seeds and star childs, you light workers, you old souls, key holders, holder of the golden yellow ray, right? Yes, we've got some ancient wisdom coming in, Divine Feminines. And look, we have confirmation. DF right there. Star Child 44. That's an angel number. Gaining a view from above. Perspective. Okay? Another confirmation. Perspective. View from above. Confirming Divine Feminine. So we definitely have confirmation and clarity that this, in, in fact... Now, if it's resonating for you, Divine Feminines, this, this one's for you. If it's resonating for your Divine Masculine, if you're set and ready, and the Divine Masculine is gaining the perspective and moving forward, you are the one being patient, waiting for this message to come in. Not waiting. Not anticipating. Okay? You're just ready for whatever comes your way. Right? Yeah, right, 49, yeah, 49 breaks down to a 13, which breaks down to a 4, which in my book is my twin flame number, and 4 is also about stability and environment and perseverance, okay, patience, grasshopper, right? Cycles end so new beginnings can begin. Let it go for this full moon lunar eclipse. Right here we have some signs and synchronicities about letting it go so cycles can end. 
learning our lessons, receiving our blessings, and not being a repeater of history. Oh my goodness. Total confirmation that love wins and karmic cycles do end. Yin Yang Twin Flame. So be patient. Continue forward, right? You stand in the light of truth. Both you divine feminine and divine masculine. And the truth is that love wins. Always. No matter how you slice it. <laughs> yes. Okay, coming in hard, strong, with some confirmation here. Self-love, number one. You bet. Number one, grasshopper. Indeed, this is a new beginning at this point when the message comes in and everybody's grounded and uh, ready to receive the message, the message will come in. A victim no more and self-worth here, okay? So, <clears throat> Divine Masculine is the one coming in with this message, this communication. Yin-yang twin flames, right? Being courageous and fearless to take that leap, to make that move, to take a risk for this great adventure. Confirmation. Divine Masculine is the one bringing in the message, coming forward. So be patient, Divine Feminines. Patience, Grasshopper. Yeah, self-love, self-worth. One in the same there, okay? The victim no more is letting go of this victim no more mentality, being courageous and fearless for this new beginning. Okay? Self-love brings a new beginning. One, right? One is new beginning. All right, bottom of the deck. <laughs> Past life connection, people. Number six. Wow. Yeah, six is my love number. Love, family, and home. Deja vu. Balance is taking place. Okay? Like in the state of the mind, body, and soul message I just did, there's major balance and alignment going on here. Yeah, and we can continue with this awakening. Okay? And a divine connection. Yeah, leading to a decision. 11. So that's crazy. And there's attraction here. So release... And enjoy another, that's a 12, that breaks down to 3, communication, 9, completion, true love, release and enjoy for this true love is coming in very soon, and we're talking sacred union, people. Yeah, very soon. True love coming in. Release and re enjoy. Once you make this decision, yeah. Once you make this decision that you're aligning and awakening to this divine connection and make this decision to move forward into this great adventure with this past life connection, boom! Release and enjoy. Okay? Attraction. Creates attraction for this true love, which will come forth very soon in, as in a sacred union gathering. Wow. Yeah. If this wasn't so late, I would be singing for joy, but it's late. <laughs> yeah. So we'll hold off on the singing. Let's ask for a final card, final words of wisdom from the butterflies. For this 
freaking fabulous weekly wisdom check-in message. Okay, if this isn't some clarity and confirmation and a story unfolding here, boy, I don't know what is. Okay? And I urge you to watch this again if you're not clear or you think you may have missed some of your messages. Pause it. Go slow through it. You have to, you know, take a break, pause the message, and go back to it. Because there's some major information in here that is aching, wanting, longing to be heard. Yin Yang, Twin Flames, we're talking sacred union very soon with this true love. So it's important, this full moon, super blood full moon, coinciding with this lunar, total lunar eclipse, all happening in the, the moon in Sagittarius. It's time to release and enjoy. It's time to make a decision and move forward. Yeah. You and or your divine partner, with or without. Because major abundance await, awaits you. You and your divine partner. And if either one of you opt out, there will be something, someone coming in. A twin flame soulmate, a replacement that will, you know, fall into place. It's part of the plan. There's a backup. <laughs> There's an understudy. <laughs> right? Yes. Here we go. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, Butterfly Oracles. Please join us at the table and offer us up some final words of wisdom. Those out there listening. That was a weird cut, really thin on the bottom. Be true to you. That was the, you know, mantra of my life back in my 20s. And it was, you know, the beginning of everything. Big release. Being true to myself. Yeah. Be true to you. That's self-love, really. Sentimental feelings. Yeah, blah, da, da, a sentimental journey. Great adventure. Yep, sobriety. And sobriety doesn't mean, you know, clean as a whistle. Sobriety is a state of mind, okay? Look it up. It, there's really more to it than just being abstinent. Abstinent from, you know, alcohol. Healing from the past. Wow. Bottom line from the butterflies. Healing from the past in your future position is awesome. With these things in place, being true to you, you know, sentimental feelings at all. Okay, that's a part of who you are. Don't hold on to anything that's toxic or keeping you held back, like this victim mentality. No, you can let that go. You can think about the happy times that are going to come. Remembering this past life connection and this true love, right? Yeah. True love, past life connection. Definitely will heal the past. Because that's in the future position too. Future position. True love, past life connection will heal the past. Will create a healing. Wow. This is awesome. Okay. That's it. That's what we have for this weekly wisdom check-in message. I hope it's resonating for some or all of you out there. At least, at the very least, there may be some personal messages in here as well. I hope you stay tuned. There's more messages to come. And I hope you are, got a chance to check out my fireside chat. 
just to give you a little taste of where I'm at on my journey. And till then, please stay tuned. Hit that like button if you like what you see in here, please. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That allows your messages to come through for you. And also helps this channel to continue to grow and move forward along our path. And, uh, you know, offering a light to help others navigate theirs. Till next time, take care. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.